Hello, and welcome to a post-con update on the Protogen Head project. I don't know what part number this is. It's not really a building it thing, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this is actually the first time I've, like, worn it in the full um, idea of what I had when I started this project. So wearing the head and then wearing some other latex with it. I had the head out for maybe an hour and a half at BLFC at the dances on the last night because I was just so busy with other stuff the entire time. Uh, and I really just took the head down with uh, wearing some other stuff. Didn't have any other latex with it for that. And then when I was leaving BLFC, I had the head on top of my, the stuff on my little hand truck. And I don't know if you've been to the GSR recently, probably not. But if you have been to GSR recently, you know they have those little, like, fake cobblestone whatever the hell's by the front entrance that make anything that you roll go very bouncy. Well, that this took a very slow, very short, like, two-foot drop from the top of the stack of stuff I had and took a tumble and completely cracked in through right here. Um, so it was out of commission for PawCon. It might have been okay, but I did not want to risk it. And also one of the inner frames kind of broke at the bottom here, but I didn't have it at PawCon. When I got home, I just got out some epoxy and glued it all back together up here. Uh, it could be better because the there's the part of the frame that goes back that also cracked because like it completely cracked. And I only re-glued up here because this is all I have access to because there's latex on this side and foam on the other side. So still have to be somewhat gentle with it right here. And I can probably stand this down or you know, make it make it nicer, but it, it's fine for now. And I put some super glue on the uh, the one of the the inside things that broke, so I didn't have it at PawCon. But then the following weekend, I went to Frolic, uh, mainly because I wanted to wear this damn thing. I was going to wear full on latex at Frolic, but I just did not have the energy to do that, so I just hooked the head and some. Uh, some like half finger opera gloves and did that instead and I wore it for probably about two and a half hours that night so that was pretty good uh, it worked pretty well uh, battery life on the USB battery banks I'm using is great um, the fan works really well I don't have the fan on now because it would get in the way of the microphone and it is really fogging up in here and getting really hot you might be able to tell with how I'm breathing but I do have some other ideas of things that need to get updated, like a little bit more foam on the inside here to cushion my ears a little bit. Uh, I need to figure out something with this excess material on the sides here. Uh, but overall, I think it's a success. Um, still a lot of software work to do. I've done nothing with the software except uh, remap one of the other touch things to the menu button because this fold here is getting in the way so I can kind of come up in here and then do uh, I still don't know where to reach there we go there I'm still learning where everything is is it that 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 so like I can I can still do it uh, there's other things I need to do though uh, go away Where's back? Where's back? Go, go away. There we go. Um, clearly that's a little finicky. I probably can tweak the settings on the capacitive touch device. I'm just using the defaults now. I know there are some settings, so I might be able to make it a little bit more sensitive as long as it's not too sensitive. Uh, the other problem that I need to figure out is the toggle button for turning it on and off. Uh, hot glue is not working. It just falls right off. So I need to figure out some better thing to do to get that button to stay in place and while once I do that I may add some more like hard buttons for the menuing system as well but I'm very happy with how this turned out now that I have it all done and I can wear it um, I don't think I have anything else going on until further confusion so I would like to maybe get some of these upgrades done by then We'll see. I did, I did like nothing on Thanksgiving weekend because I just needed some time to myself. So I kind of wanted to do some work on this, but it just didn't happen. But uh, yeah, I'm already thinking about a V2 because I, there's just things about this frame that I'm not a, not like super happy with. 
So I'd have, and I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how I would go about making a, a whole new thing. And I'd probably want to 3D print it myself. The only, con my, my biggest concern with that is the visor, because I don't have a way to do vacuum forming right now. And finding people that sell visors for head m models that you can find is not easy. So I might just have to suck it up and figure out how to do vacuum forming, which I don't really have tools to be able to build a vacuum forming machine. So that's going to be awkward. But I'm, I'm starting to ramble now. Um, I might go, th this might turn into like maybe a monthly or every other monthly series going forward with the updates because, you know, as, as you can see, it's, it's done enough to be worn. And, you know, there's no idle animations, and this is the only animation it does right now, so I definitely want to do some changes here. But I'm, I'm just glad it's done, and I, I want to go wear it more, and I'm very happy with with the how, how the whole thing looks put together with the entire outfit uh, idea that I had. So if y'all were wondering why I was wanting to to do it with latex up here, this this is why I was thinking the entire thing would go with latex. So I think it's come out well. Um, and yeah, uh, I might try to get some sort of a little project update out in December. Uh, I am traveling for the holidays. So if it doesn't come out before Christmas, it won't come out until after New Year's. Uh, but I, at the very least, want to get some sort of an update done before FC because I want, you know, blinking or something, just a little bit more to see going on up here because FC, I want to wear this a good amount. So, uh, yeah, that that's really all I have for now. Um, if uh, th Thanks for watching this series, uh, especially if you've been watching the whole time. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of these updates. Uh, hit that like button, leave a comment, whatever. I know I need to get better at actually, like, updating my code on GitHub. Or I think all the code is there. It's just there's no, like, readme or anything on how to get started on this. So I need to get that done, and I want to make sure I get, like, the um, the keycad files up in case people want to actually build one of these and, and the bombs so you can get the components or whatever. But uh, that that might be my main goal for December is get that stuff done. But... Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Culmination of, what, 14 months of effort has finally happened. So, yay. See you next time. It's hot in here. Beep boop.